Hi everyone, welcome to another theatre vlog. Today I'm going to be seeing Les Miserables in Dublin at the Borgot Energy Theatre. This is actually going to be my first time seeing Les Mis and I'm really excited about it because I know that like Les Miserables is like a classic musical. It's the longest running show in London's West End, I believe. It opened in 1985, two years after its original opening in France. Um, I've seen the movie of this show, but to be honest, I don't remember that much of it. And I've listened to some of the songs, like I Dreamed a Dream, At the End of the Day, On My Own, and One Day More, which the songs I've listened to are all amazing. And honestly, One Day More gives me chills every time. So I'm so excited to be seeing it. I need to pack because we're leaving tomorrow and then we'll be taking the train up to Dublin, seeing the matinee performance and getting the train back on the same day. So let's get packing. It's the next day. We're currently in the car on the way to the train station to get the train to Dublin to see the show. Let's do this. We had to take a train, we had to change at the junction and I didn't film any of that because it was freezing and I didn't want to and there was no point. But we're on the train now, so we should be in Dublin in about two hours. Just had some food and now we are crossing the bridge to go to the theatre. The show's in, I think around half an hour. Let's go. I don't know what I'm saying, can you tell? There it is, so we arrived. in the theatre and I've bought a programme. I'm not sure if you can hear me, it's extremely loud. Our seats are actually quite good. We're right up the top in the upper circle, second row from the front. Hopefully no one will sit in front of us, but like, they probably will, because I think it's sold out. But yeah, let me just show you the view. This is our view. I'm standing up right now. You can see the stalls are all the way down there. But yeah, the view looks great, as long as no one sits in front of us. So we're gonna hope. Now, I'll see you in the interval. It's the interval, act one's just over. It was amazing. I got chills so many times and one day more made me cry. Like Lydia, I was crying there. It's so good. And also, look at the view I'm looking at right now out of the theater. Isn't this such a nice view? Down. I need to go up one more floor to our seats. So the show's just over. It was amazing. Now let's get to a full review. That'll be next. I would hands down give Les Miserables five out of five. It was incredible. It was stunning. That's really the word I can find that best describes it. Stunning. All the actors were incredible in this performance. There was not a single vocal mishap. Everything went perfectly. The acting was believable. It was, it was emotional. It was, it was, it was just amazing. The lighting and the projection on the back of the stage, because in this new production, there's a set, but the back of the stage is entirely projection. Um, I believe in the old production, it was all set, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but the projection was so believable. Um, Javert's death scene. I have no idea how they did it because they made it to, they managed to make it look exactly like it does in the film. I'll talk more about that in a while. So yeah, five out of five, hands down. Is it my new favorite musical? 
No, not quite, but it is still amazing. There are so many highlight standout moments in this show for me. I Dreamed a Dream. Oh my God. I Dreamed a Dream was so good. Um, the At the end of the day, the that transition from Valjean's soliloquy into the like doo -doo 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 melody was, oh, it was, I got chills. It was so good. I feel like I'm saying so good a lot. I just cannot praise this show enough. Another standout moment for me was Master of the House with the Thenardiers because by that point there's already been a lot of sad things. Fontaine's already dead and it's only the first half hour of the first act and Master of the House really provides a lot, some much needed comedic relief. Another highlight moment, as I said earlier, was Javert's suicide. He sings a big reprise of stars. I think it's called Javert's soliloquy. And then he throws himself off a bridge to kill himself, as you do like. And it was so believable. I think it was a mixture of lighting and projection, but it looked like he was actually like falling. And that was probably one of the la longest applause moments of the show. Again, I really cannot praise all the actors enough, but some that I just felt gave especially standout performances were Dean Chisnall as Jean Valjean, the main character. Very hard role, loads of hard vocal moments. Has to carry another cast member across his back, on his back across the stage a few times. And all the time, perfect. Perfect vocals, never did a wrong note. His Bring Him Home was emotional with a capital E. His Valjean's soliloquy at the start, stunning, really set the scene for, set the tone, sorry, for what the rest of the musical would be, which was no vocal mistakes from any members of the cast. Um, Nick Greenshields as Javert, the other main character, Again, just as good, if not even better, than Jean Valjean. My mum preferred Javert to Valjean, I think. His stars, perfect. Nothing wrong there. His, like I said, like I said, his suicide scene was incredibly well done. Largely thanks to the amount of emotion he managed to convey in his soliloquy before the suicide. So, he was stunning. Um, Katie Hall as Fontaine, the female lead. Her I Dreamed a Dream gave me chills about three separate times in the song. So that's how you know it was good. And she just perfectly conveyed Fontaine's pure desperation by the end of Lovely Ladies, which, oh God, Lovely Ladies was so chilling. Um, Zabrina... I, Zabrina Nori, Nori, I think her name is, Zabrina Nori as the factory girl, small part, but really good. She's the one who sings, who steals the letter off Fontaine in the at the end of the day scene. She was great. She really, really, really acted her lines. It was, it was really good. And she just made you hate her, even though she's barely on stage. She just made you hate her for being the one who got Fontaine fired. And the last standout, oh no, second last for me. Um, I'm trying to find her, hold on. Um, Nathania Onk as Eponine. She was perfect. She was fun, she was feisty. Um, from the moment she came on stage in Paris, and from the moment she opened her mouth to talk to Marius, you, you knew who Eponine was. You knew her character. And of course, her on my own was flawless. Finally, the last standout performer for me was Gavroche. I'm not entirely sure who played him because there are six actors for Gavroche. He was so funny. And it was when he died, that was the moment that ha that I kind of lost it a bit to be honest it was so sad 
Les Mis is so sad. <laughs> I would recommend this performance to anyone who's interested in musical theatre. I'm sure most musical theatre fans have seen Les Miserables, um, but if Les, Mi Les Mis will be on tour for the rest of this year, and I highly encourage you to get tickets to go and see it. And, or of course, get tickets and go and see it in London. It's currently playing the full staged version at the Sondheim Theatre. So yeah, I would recommend this show for everyone who's interested in musical theatre and anyone who's interested in like French history. Just, just, just ignore the fact that they're all singing in British accents and you'll be grand. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this video here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time with another video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment for me if my comments aren't off. YouTube automatically turns off my comments. It's really annoying. And click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you next time. Bye.